Keeping on the SEC, let's talk Georgia and Kentucky right quick. Not not a whole lot to say about this one. Georgia won 30-13. to It was 14-7 to at the half. And Kentucky's offensive coordinator, Liam Cohen, brought out everything in this one. He, I'm talking all the shifts, all the motions, all the trips to the left, trips to the right, all the different kind of cockamamie stuff, running you know wide receivers out of the, the running back position and, and tight ends and running post route, like all kinds of crazy stuff in this ball game. And that, that long drive, what was it, like a 20-play drive or whatever they had that got them their touchdown in the first half, yeah. that was his masterpiece. He, I don't, I don't think they ever expected to win the game, but I think that they wanted to prove that they could put up points on this defense and that they were going to at least hang in the game and make Georgia uncomfortable, and they did for a long portion of this ball game. So props to Mark Stoops and what he's doing. He is still they're six and one right now. He is going to get a lot of looks at other places. I don't know that if I were him, I would leave Kentucky because I think that he is a god there at this point. There are very reasonable expectations at Kentucky that you will not find at some yeah, of these other big Yeah, but if you places. have a chance to go somewhere and win a national title, that's different. Right. It depends on what you want to do, right? Because I don't think you can win a national title at Kentucky. Oh, I agree. Not 100%. right now, at least. No, so, I, so you can be great. You can be really, really good. But that's the issue is, is do you think you can win a title? Because if you can go somewhere and win a title, and let, let's say you get the – would you rather – I'll ask you this. Would you rather be at a place like Kentucky – and when you're done, have them build a statue to you, and you be a god and a legend there. Or, but never win an idol, never even win an SEC title, never even make it to Atlanta. Or go to a place like LSU. I'm not saying he's going to take the LSU or USC or someplace like that. Those are the jobs that are going to be open that we know of. And, and be there for four years, five years, win a championship, and then two years after that, be ran out on a rail. See, that is, that is really difficult. He has been at Kentucky since 2013. He is at 55 and 51 overall before this season. So what does that make him? Uh, no, no, no. That, that includes the season. Okay. I Man, I think he's 54 years old. I think I would probably want to go try and win a national title. I think uh, so, too. Especially because of, of his family, right? Like, well, Bob, here's the other argument. Like, though. Bob has a title. Listen. You can always go back. Like, do you you don't think if you got ran out of rail out of L.A., let's say he becomes a new USC coach, and he wins a title, and then three years after winning the title, they run his ass out of town, okay? You don't, you don't think he could pick up the phone and call Kentucky and say, hey, he couldn't pull a Petrino and just say, hey, I, a, I made a mistake. I shouldn't have left. You know what? It's it's very possible. Yeah, I think, I think so. Yeah, I mean, if I were him, I'd probably give it a shot. He he's not like super young. He's not you know whatever. I would. He he's made all the money that he needs to make. I think if I had the opportunity to go try and do that, like if he were offered the LSU job, because very very few people in the world are going to have national championships. Yeah, no, you're you're 100 percent right. I mean, at LSU, we have seen like Coach O won a title, Les Miles won a title. Neither of those is as as regarded as well regarded as a. Yeah. You know, X's and O's guy, a development guy, as Mark Stoops. So all the people that are out there saying uh, Lane would never leave for LSU, Ole Miss. Listen, be real careful about what you say and think about it. Take your fan hat off and look at logic. One team has never made it to Atlanta, never even won the West, and the other team has won three titles over three years with or twenty years with three different coaches, two of which are nationally seen as incompetent. Yes. Yes. How do you how do you argue with saying I think I'll go try that? Hey, you can't. I don't think you can. I don't think you can. Ghost Dogs said uh, Kentucky offense did everything they could and, and they scored thirteen points. Go dogs. Well, let's let's get let's be real careful here because Florida, who just gave up forty nine to uh, what was regarded as a an incompetent LSU offense, you know, Florida held Kentucky to only thirteen offensive points. So. You know, let's let's not go crazy here. But yes, it was an incredible performance by Georgia for sure. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.